Hello and welcome to Tikal Network's Crystal Call Center video tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll go over the Crystal CTI, the computer telephony interface. The CTI is a small software we install on the agent desktop, which the agent can use to manage its online statuses, transfer calls, and make calls. We'll now install the CTI. We'll click Next. We we'll usually want to create a desktop icon. Click Next and Install. Once installed, we'll first need to activate the CTI. We can activate the CTI using the license key we received by mail. We'll click on Activate, enter our company name, my personal name, and enter the activation key we received. Click on Activate. And now I can see that the CTI has been activated. After we activate it, we'll need to exit the CTI and open it again. So this is the CTI. We'll first need to initially configure the configuration so it can actually connect to our server. We'll click on the setting button, advanced settings, enter the password, which is I am admin, I A M. A-D-M-I-N. Click OK. We'll need to enter the IP or DNS name of the server we're using. So for this case, we'll use the demo server. Demo. The port will always be 1505. We usually want to start the CTI with Windows. And if you're using a hot seat call center, which means that um, you have agents uh, Using the same seat in different shifts, we'll usually want to create to also remove the agent on logout. So when an, a new agent comes in, he can just enter his new ID and log in. We'll set the language. We'll set the extension which I'm using, which in this case will be 501. The agent ID, 5001 in this case, and the agent password. Once those are set, we'll click on save and click on login. Once the agent is logged in, I can see through the administration panel that the agent has been logged in successfully. Now, if I'm the agent and I want to go to mission status, meaning that I do not want to receive any inbound calls, but I do want to make outbound calls or do some paperwork, I can put myself on mission status. We can see in the administration panel that my status has changed. I'm now at mission. Same goes for pause. If I go to pause, that means that I cannot receive calls and I cannot make outbound calls. This is good, for example, when the agent goes to lunch, uh, to the toilet, or anything that is not considered as working time. We also have an option to define subtypes, both for pause and both for the mission statuses. So at the end of the day, the shift manager can know how much time was spent on each of the subtypes. So in this case, we have regular pause, lunch, smoke, bathroom, short break, and lunch break. I also have the tabs. Through the tabs, the agent can transfer calls within a click of a button, meaning that if I now receive the call and now in, I am in the support queue and this call has been a mistake and the customer wants to speak to the sales representative, I can just click on the sales queue and the call will be transferred to the sales queue. I can also transfer calls to specific extensions or other agents. I can see their status from here. I can see that almost all agents are not logged in, so they're grayed out. And I can see myself as yellow. If I had any other agents logged in, I could just click on their name and the call would be transferred to them. On top of that, I also have the real-time tab. The real-time tab is really useful for the agent himself. He can see how long he's been logged in for, how many calls he's made today, how long he's been on pause, and I can just see my personal statistics for the day. Now I'll go back to online status. I can see that in the administration panel my status has changed. And for example, if I want to make an outbound call, I can make it straight from the CTI. I 
click on this button and I have the dial panel open up. I can dial any number I want and click on dial. The system will automatically dial this number and I can also select from which queue I want to make this outbound call. So for example, if I'm an agent that is that I belong to the sales and support queue and I want to make an outbound call from the sales queue to use the sales outbound CID, I can just select the sales queue. So my caller ID will be the sales caller ID. So when the customer calls back to this number, it'll be redirected directly to the sales queue. In addition to the default tabs that we have, a unique feature of our call center is the ability to define custom tabs, meaning that you can define a tab that will contain your online CRM or any other online page. It's very easy to do and I'll show you how. We'll go to Manager. We'll minimize the CTI for now. We'll go to Department Manager. Click on our Demo Department. And in the tabs list, I can create a new tab. We'll give it a title. For this case, I'll show the Google search page. We can also define a custom size. Uh, for example, if our CRM needs a bigger page, uh, we can also leave it blank to use the default size. We'll click on submit. Now, in order for this to to be in effect, we need to log out, so we'll open the CTI. We'll click on log out. Click again on login. Now, if you remember, I selected that we're using a hot seat environment, meaning that if I click on log out, when I click again on login, this window will pop up and ask me for the new agent ID. So for this, I'll use a new agent ID, 5002. Click on save, click on login. And now I can see the new custom tab that I created, which is a Google search. That's it for the CTI. I hope this guide was useful to you. And thank you for watching.